Acer that they recently sent me a roll of PETG filament and uh, the crazy thing is, you know, I really love economical packaging but this is far too little. It was delivered as is. You see the the postal sticker is here and it wasn't even taped, you see, so anybody could have stolen this. Why don't you do it like other Companies do it, you know, they put around at least a, a bag, a black bag, opaque black bag, so you don't see what's inside, but you know, this is far too little. Okay, so yeah, enough of that. Let's get to the material itself. I've never heard about Acidity before, and I looked on their website, they're selling resins and filament. So let's cut it open. I will start printing stuff with it and then I will let you know what I think about it. Okay, the color is quite nice. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, but it is a nice one at least. A rich one. I don't know if the... Yeah, I, I guess it comes out in the video much brighter than it is in reality. So yeah, let's see what it is like. The sticker says one kilogram metal weight, but if I look at the imprint here on the spool it says 600 grams and you can see here is my finger and this little bit for sure is not 400 grams. So once the spool is almost finished, I will rewind it, the rest of the filament to another one. And then I will uh, put this on the scale to see how much really was on the, on the spool. Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. So here are the results of everything that I've printed with the roll. It is empty now. I will show you everything, including the scrap. So, yeah, even the internal part of the spool is made out of cardboard. This is what I really like. But I, what I don't like is the misleading print on the spool because at first, as I told you when I showed you the roll, unboxing it, it seemed to have only like 750 grams on it. But I put everything on the scale. You will see on the pictures surrounding me that I have weighed everything, including the scrap. And it is altogether 985 grams. In here, I guess, this could be like 15 grams, so altogether is exactly 1000 grams. Why do I have so much scrap? Simply because I was dialing in my new Kitty XSmart 3 and also the MK4. What did I print? I printed my own tea canister design and to get the the settings right that it closes really tightly you have to make a test print in order to adapt the the size you know of the of the the top part so it, that it closes nicely but i don't consider these both parts as waste i will keep them as trays i will get rid of this tpu seal and then i will put it uh, to the other uh, remaining failures or you know the su supports or brims that I have here and the good thing is that I can um, recycle it because at our local makerspace we have a shredder and a filament extruder so I will simply make new filament out of it so yeah I also made my own vase design and as I didn't know how it would handle the overhangs I printed it with tree supports <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I looked at it later, I thought, okay, this would have been fine without. The separation is really nice. 
the material as 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 such is really stiff, so you really have the f uh, feeling that you're printing with PLA and not PET G. The stringing is like a spider webs, very little, yeah, and uh, you can just take a, a lighter and flame them away. I also printed one of my favorite childhood toys, which was this springy. I always wanted to have one and I printed it, I gave it a try some time ago with other filament and there I wasn't able to separate it but with this one here, once I got it dialed in, it works really really nicely. I also uh, printed this collapsible box. And, uh, it prints in parts and then afterwards you just click it together. It's stackable so I guess I will print more of those. Then these back clips. And there I, I lost one full plate that was prior of me dialing it in. Uh, the, so the gap in here wasn't uh, good enough. So yeah, I lost lots of parts there. But the other ones, you know, once I got it dialed in here, those work nicely. I also made a handle. You can buy this uh, in the store and then you just uh, put it on here. And it closes like that, you know, with a small screw at the end. So that looks really, really nice. But I also printed these Akku beer crates because I have so many Akkus. <laughs> Don't they look cute? And uh, yeah, then this one here, as I told you, this this I will use as a tray. Great. So. How do I like the filament? In the beginning I thought, oh my goodness, yellow. I'm not really a fan of yellow, but after I have printed one kilo of it, I really like it. <laughs> and I hope that this will be available, you know, in the stores close by, so I can order more. Because at the moment the, the American market seems to be targeted. Um, yeah, so I guess the 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 audience in the US, they, they have no problem getting it, but here it's a little bit more complicated. And I really like the properties that it's so stiff. But, uh, I don't have any, any machines to test, uh, you know, the, the tensile or the other stuff, you know, that you could uh, check out. Uh, but from the, you know, when I, the, when I bend it, it seems to be really stiff. So I like that and that it prints so easily. Okay, thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.